conversations with God for all this pastors. Our faith is what got us through all the troubles and disasters. Indeed, we fell short, but the Lord never passed us. Our belief in God is the most important factor. It's the Velika B Project. You're now tuned in to the Velika B Project with your host, Velika B, lover of God, founder and CEO of Set Apart and Chosen. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. This is Velika B with the Velika B Project, and we are here with my guest host, Charles Butler, interviewing Lisa No Smith. Let's go. Hey, sir. How are you? You muted. <laughs> Hold on. You on mute. Did I mute you? I mute. That was go. me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was praying. I was just like, I didn't want to call for the much. She was praying. So I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. I'm excited. I'm gonna let you um go ahead and interview um Lisa. We're gonna go ahead and bring her on. Um, yeah, let me let you interview her. We're gonna um add this on to my podcast as well. But I'm gonna let you do your do your do your thing. As usual. All right, you ready, Lisa? You ready to come in? There you go. I'm gonna let y'all handle it. Hey, <laughs> hey, there. how you doing? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm so good. How are you? I am great. I am great. Listen, I am super excited that you're on today, and I'm super excited to talk about the two new singles that you'll be releasing at midnight. Um, the first one is All I Want Is You, and the other one is Testimony. So um, I got your song, All I Want Is You, yesterday, and as I told Valika, I absolutely love the song. And um, and I was just texting Rolling, your manager, and he was like, tell me your honest thoughts. I'm like, man, it's like really, really good. Um, from the intro, from the piano intro to the worship outro, um, it's really good. It's, it, it starts somewhere and it finishes somewhere else. I always say that you're like the queen, one of the queen of ad libs, like ballad ad libs. You oh, can wow. just drive. You can drive. So just tell us some, some um, just tell us about your two singles and what made you release two singles at one time. Um, well, uh, these songs are, I did a live recording. Let me start there. I did a live recording about a year ago. And um, first live recording as a solo artist, you know, I've sang with the family for 20 plus years. So uh, first time stepping out, doing something on my own, aside from the features and all the many other things I've done. Um, this particular song, these two songs, rather, um, All I Want Is You, it's kind of, at the time when we were writing it, it was really like a reflection of my relationship with God and where I am right now. That if every if I lose everything else around me, really all I want is you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if I got you, which led to the line that uh, my producer Josh Brown put on there that everything I need, you provide for me. You know what I'm saying? So really, at the end of the day, all I need is you. I'm looking for you. I want you. Give me you. If I get you, I get everything else. Um, so and it's a little bit different for me because I'm I'm you know, kind of used to doing the churchy, the squalling, throwing my hair, getting all radical and crazy. Um, but this is really, honestly, uh, not to be redundant, but just a reflection, or I wanted it to be reflective of my now relationship with God. That really, every nothing else matters but him. And testimony is uh, it's church. You know what I'm saying? If I uh -huh. got to have the church. I mean, I just got to do it. <laughs> We've seen it several times, so I know you get it. And I have seen when I see your group and you, I know that we're going to we're going to church at some point, you know, see, like you know, worship is so great, we're gonna have a good time, but you you are going to church some at some point. You got so, to. Uh, you know, that's kind of testimony. Uh, for me. There's one line in there that I really love. It says he took my test and he made me my best. I thank God for my testimony. That right there is like my life. You know what I'm saying? My oh, life. My, he took my test. Like and he made it and we are being tested like never before in times like oh. this um listen and 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 we're going back to all i need is you those lyrics if it did not speak to me at a point um in this particular moment because um a lot of us we can solely base a lot of what we do off of just our singing abilities for us being able to go out and do what we do when yeah. at this particular juncture it's like this is all that we have is you because you know if we don't a lot of us we don't have nothing else left besides him because you know some people are losing their jobs they're losing their homes they're losing everything they have and god all i got is just you so 
it is a powerful word, is a powerful testimony. And those lyrics just spoke something so, so, so deep to me. And it's an anointed song, all eight minutes of it. Listen. And I was just like, how you gonna cut that? How you gonna do that radio edit? That's what I wanna know. But I got it down to three minutes and 40 seconds. Tell your neighbor, look at your neighbor and tell him, it's dope. I wanna know I'm who the engineer was. I wanna know who the engineer was to do this radio edit. That's what I wanna know. And the radio we- edit is amazing, man. It, it's, and, I, and I'm, I'm so, I'm kind of geeked about that because a lot of times when we hear songs on the radio and then you hear them on the records, you're like, hey, I don't remember that part, you know, because, uh-huh. you know, it's been edited for radio. But I think our, even the edit captures the essence of what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get it's, you to see that all I want is, you know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to get everybody to get there and that everything we need, he's going to provide. Even in a pandemic, we ain't got to panic because everything right. that we need, he's going to provide. And what I love about you the most is that you are so diverse in your ability to do just what you did with having the All I Want Is You song as your your worship church song and then your testimony as your bona fide church song. So I always encourage people. That's why some of the people who come on here, you know, I try to encourage them to not try to just do one thing because, yeah. you know, we got to kind of try to switch things up to reach a um, diverse audience sometimes. And I love you for that, being able to do that. Um, let me tell you, just my personal moment, one of my favorite moments of seeing you was in Nashville, Stellar Weekend, uh, when you did, when you sang at, uh, you was with James Fortune over at um, Bishop Walker's church. So you really just killed the place over there. And then you go over to... Erica Campbell's, I think she had a listening party. Yeah. She had a listening party or something at like a theater or something, like a small mm-hmm. theater. Yeah. And um, I remember you saying there, and I was just like, that was my first time seeing you in person. Oh, and wow. Okay. You smashed. Like, it was so, 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 so good. I was just like, what I love about you, it's, it, it was consistent. One of the things that people don't understand is those stellar weekends are vocally taxing. People have no idea how vocally taxing it is. And for you to deliver uh, that time of night, every yeah, like consistently. Like 1 30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. Yeah, and the we, energy, how do you, how, what's the advice that you can give some of the, some of the up and coming artists when you're in those type of dilemmas? What place do you pull from when it's like 1 30, 2 o'clock in the morning and you still have to deliver? You know, I don't sing anything that doesn't minister to me first. Um, wow. And I try not to sing. If, you know, when I do, and, and I, I don't really know how to even explain it, because whenever I get the mic in my hand, I always minister to Lisa first. Because I it's really not cliche that what comes from the heart will reach the heart. So I try to just, you know, put everything. Now, part of that is my upbringing. I grew up singing quartet. Quartet, you leave it all on the floor. You don't. It ain't no trying to sing cute and we gonna come back and get it later. No, 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 no. When I the way I was raised is when you get that mic in your hand, my grandfather would say something like "Go for blood." You know, he would always say, you know, "Go for blood." You do, you give everything that you got, you leave it out there. Because if I don't get a chance again, um, I want my last time. Whatever you remember about me, y'all want you to be able to say, "Oh man, she put, it, she gave it everything that she got." So that's kind of my process. Whenever I'm singing, three o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna give it all I got. Seven That's o'clock my- when I'm doing worship for services for churches and getting up singing at seven thirty. Like, how you got that much energy? I gotta just give it all I got every single time, every time. I love that. I love that, and I think that is such a great word of encouragement to up and coming artists to give it all you got. You leave nothing on that stage. Yeah. You put everything you got. You give it to the people. Um, and I love that the most about you. That every time I see you, you're so you're so consistent. Now, tell us about your um, live concert that you're doing right here on Set Apart on Sunday, August the 2nd at 6 yeah. p.m. Tell us Man, about I'm your really concert. It's, it's an opportunity. Uh, again, most people kind of know me for doing just, you know, just the, the churchy stuff or the features that I've been on. But uh, for the first time in year, 10 years, at least, um, I'm able to stand and, and sing my own music and just kind of take you on this experience. And I think it's really important now, these virtual concerts, um, not just mine, but everybody's, it's so amazing because it has the ability um, to just bring us all together. If not just for a moment, we're all there enjoying and listening because right now there are no concerts, you know, church is kind of limited because of capacities and or pull up and praise, which is not the same. So just having this moment 
uh, for us all to just have this experience and to kind of let everybody into my new music and this new, it's not really a new sound because I keep saying it, it doesn't really sound like me and you may be able to agree, but it kind of sounds like me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not really what you're used to hearing, but then I do something and you be like, oh, yeah, yeah there's Lisa right there. There you go. You know? I, do, I, do, I do first note. I do first note it sounds like you. You're just kind of singing from a different place, but it sounds like you. Your voice is very distinctive. Whether you're growling or in your 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 more prettier tones, it still sounds like Lisa. I don't. I, I still like think it. it sounds like you. The style stylistically is different, but your voice is signature. Thank you. Oh man, I I really that's a compliment. Thank you. Uh, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to just kind of authentically be myself, even in the midst of that, because people will kind of box you in. You know how the the industry and and sometimes mm. even the consumer will say, well, I like her better doing this, or I like her better doing that. But really, the music is reflective of just my life. It's sometimes I want to, you know, go crazy and pray. Sometimes I just want to have a moment, an intimate moment with God, and just tell him, thank you, God. And tell him, all I, you know, all I want is really you. You know, you give me you. Everything else will do. I think that's a good segue right here. Relika. episode of the Velika B Project with your host, Velika B. Until next time we meet, be blessed. The Velika B Project.